the Atlas, and we welcome you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for our main event. 12 rounds in the Bantamweight division, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. The opening bell of this scheduled 12 rounder here. A much anticipated fight. Round one underway. Macho's just creating some separation to land another power shot. Yeah, what he's looking like is your uncle. Remember when you were a kid, your uncle used to put his hand on your forehead, push you back a little bit, you couldn't hit him, but he I could I hated hit. that. Uh -huh. Well, he hates it, too. Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Keep it up! So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Make him pay for his mistakes. Listen to me. The Beast is bounces back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Gets rid of that body shot. Nice block by the Beast from the East. Yeah. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. <laughs> Halfway through this round. He went 
knocked down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Able to dismiss that body shot. He just missed that shot up top. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. It's all right, just keep moving. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid Take to go back now, in that room. Boy. Take your time. Keep the pressure up. Don't follow him. Cut the ring off, all right? Set up the power shot. Stay up. When he moves in, stay up. The Beast's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up. But he looks to be steady on his feet here. Well off the mark by the Beast from the East. Keep working the jab. Good, good. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Jab, jab. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. 90 seconds to go here in this round. The Beast just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find keep the window, moving. find moving. the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there. Be creative. <gasps> Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Macho's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. And that's the end of round three. All right. All right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. You have a double jab, all right? He's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see that double jab. Carry it away and you catch him. You got that? It's going to happen. You're going to catch him. You're going to catch him. Teddy, we look at your scorecard here at the beginning of round four. He's up three to zip, but it may be a moot point. He's put his man down on the canvas in complete control of this fight. Yeah, he's hurt him several times. He's shown power, and his opponent has shown no ability to change things. That's it, just the like beast that. showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. <laughs> Not able to land the headshot. <laughs> and just grabbing on to his opponent. <laughs> Frustrating his opponent with great defense. seconds to go in round number four. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. That's what I want to see. Sound defense. Good block that time by Macho.
Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Macho's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Seconds to go in the fourth. The Beast is blocking ability, is doing well for him there. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad, you know? That's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happens to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Keep him away from you, all right? Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. The Beast is crushed by a big left hand. Oh! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. stopping this fight the beast is smashed and he can't get up unable to beat the count <laughs> macho's fitting end to a very strong night for him there is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights.